success and greatness have always run in my family tree. My father, Spencer Stonebrook, who's a pretty famous director at Cinemax. Eyes of Desire, uh, Animal Instincts 3, just so, you know. Um, and even my DJ career is actually starting to take off um, to the point where I took this semester off from studying business. Um, so, you know, I've just always grown up around high-end cars, just exotic cars, and that's what I'm used to mostly. My name is Damien Stonebrook, and I drive a Ferrari. So my first car was actually a M3 convertible that uh, I got as a gift on my 16th birthday. Um, unfortunately, it was totaled a couple months later in a racing accident. Um, but I knew that I wanted my next car to be a step up from that, uh, more power and better handling. And about that time, uh, guy on the water polo team who always tries to one-up me, um, he got a new Porsche. And so I knew that whatever I got had to be better than that car. And so I did quite a bit of research on Wikipedia and um, that's how I ended up with this. One thing that really drew me to Ferrari, um, other than how much attention the car gets, is the history of Ferrari. Now, you're probably aware in the 30s, Enzo Ferrari went to the Lamborghini Brothers and tried to buy one of their sports cars, and he just was not impressed by it. And uh, he actually came away from that meeting declaring, I'm going to be the best sports car for everybody. And, uh, you know, it became a passion of his to do so. Now, owning a Ferrari is all about appreciating the small details on the car, and nobody does it as well as Ferrari. I mean, uh, I mean, just look at the tires, for example. I, mean, I love the checkered flag design on the tires. <laughs> it's such theater. I mean, it really brings to mind all of the Grand Prixes that Ferrari has won in the past. Why would I daily drive a car like this? Yeah, it's true. It's not your average daily driver. Um, the gas is expensive, and that matters to me because I have to pay for it by myself. And also the maintenance is pretty expensive. Um, but really it's not too bad if you know the right people or you find someone that you can trust. But it's worth the attention, and I like knowing that when I pull up next to a less successful person at a stoplight, that my car is worth more than their house. Do I get questions about how I can afford it? Um, I mean... Uh, I mean, it's, it's not important whose name is on the title. You know, I actually pay for most of the gas, and, um... Uh, I, um... So, over the last four months, I've really grown to appreciate this car. And I see it as an extension of my personality. Um, I mean, it looks good sounds good, it's attractive, it's sophisticated. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm definitely going to keep it for a long time. I mean, at least until the end of my lease term. So let's talk about the things that hey, I do. You guys almost done with your little video? Uh, yeah, we're almost done, Dad. Mom also wanted you to take out the trash when you're done with this. She's not my mom!